Once you have Neve installed and activated, you can either go ahead and create your own post or page if you'd like to start building out your website. Or you could use one of Neve's starter sites. So I'm going to go over to Neve options. Okay, so on this dashboard, we can view some resources, but let's go ahead and click on free versus pro at the top of the page. Here we have a comparison between the free and pro version of Neve. So as you can see by this comparison, Neve Pro offers way more features. So we are going to take a look at the free version of Neve first, and then we are going to explore some pro features. Let's click on starter sites, then click install and activate. Okay, so right now we are at the templates cloud, which houses over 200 sites that you can import. And these sites are created for some of the most popular page builders. On the right, we have a category section that we can access by clicking on the drop down menu. So here you can select the type of website that you are looking for. But I'm going to go ahead and select free. Okay, so now you'll notice that only Gutenberg has free templates. So we'll be using Gutenberg. I'm going to search for a shop. And let's scroll down to find a site. Let's take a look at this one over here. I'm going to click import. Okay, so let's import all settings and plugins. Turn everything on and click import entire site. This process should take about a minute, but I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so once it's done, you have the option to add your own content or view website. Let's click on view website. All right, so we have just imported a beautiful, fully functional website demo. Now, all you need to do is edit the content on this page and customize it to your specifications. So if you want to go ahead and customize the page, all you need to do is move over to the top and click on the customize link. It will open up the customizer, which will allow you to make changes to the structure of your page. So here we have some links to a few customization options, and I'm going to demonstrate a few of them. So let's start with layout. And here we have some options that we can configure. So as an example, we can go ahead and change the blog layout. So right now the layout is set to list by default, but we can go ahead and change it to grid by clicking on the grid option in this tab. And you can also change the number of columns being displayed by adjusting this slider. Okay, now I'm going to change the layout back to list. Okay, so under layout, you can also change your container options. So if you click on container, you'll be able to change your site's container width across multiple devices such as tablet and mobile. And at the bottom, we have some more container style options. Let's move over to the header tab. Okay, so you can use these quick links to make changes to your logo or maybe your header color, or you can also configure your menu options. Now, this header consists of three different rows. We have header top, header main, and header bottom. Each row has its own settings that you can access by clicking on this gear icon. We also have components that sit in columns within these rows that we can drag and drop across rows. And I'll place a link to a video on the screen that will show you how to use this header builder. You can also click on the gear icon to access the settings for each of these components. If you want to use more components, simply drag a component from the available components tab to a row of your choice. And if you don't want to build your own header, you can go over to the header presets tab to choose a preset from this list. So here's the first option, and here's another that's centered as well. Now let's go back to the menu to look at the footer options, and the footer basically follows the same principles as the header. Now let's explore colors and background. So here we have about five different color palettes that we can choose from. If you want to make individual color changes to your palette, simply click on the color and use the color picker to choose a new one. So for example, I just changed the color from blue to green. And by the way, you also have an option to choose a background image. Okay, so let's go back. Although we won't get into it in depth, you can also make changes to settings such as typography and buttons, as well as form fields. So feel free to explore these settings. You can access your menu options by clicking on this tab. And we also have widget options. Okay, so let's take a look at WooCommerce. Okay, so these are our options. Now let's make a quick adjustment to our store. So under product catalog, I'm gonna go ahead and change the number of products per row from three to four by clicking this up arrow. Okay, so once again, this is just a quick example of a change that you can make from this WooCommerce menu, but feel free to explore more options. You can click on additional CSS to add CSS code to style your website. 
All right, so finally we have a documentation button. So if you click this button, it will take you to ThemeAL's documentation page where you can find help with any ThemeAL product. So for example, you can search for a Neve header if you need more information on that aspect of the product. So for example, here's Neve header builder. And as you can see, this product is very well documented. So I urge you guys to check out this documentation page if you ever need help with a product or feature. You can click on the publish button once you're done, but I'm just gonna close this customizer to show you guys how to edit the content on your page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit page link at the top. Okay, so right now we have opened our page in the WordPress editor, which is also known as Gutenberg. So here's an example of how you could edit your content. I'm gonna click on this heading block right after spring, and I'm gonna backspace this word and type in winter. So I just changed this heading from spring collection to winter collection. Now I'm gonna add a block right under this heading, so I'm gonna click on this plus icon, and here I can either search or click on browse all to view more uh, blocks. So to keep it simple, I'm just gonna use a button. So let's go ahead and type in button in the search box. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on buttons. All right, editing the button text is quite simple. Just click on the button and type. Let's say buy now. Okay, so we can take this further by styling this button and possibly adding a link, but I'll skip that part for now since this is just a brief example. Neve also adds a number of custom blocks and block patterns that you can easily add to your designs. So here's a list of fully customizable block patterns. I'm gonna add the last one just to show you what it looks like. So here's an entire hero section that we can use. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this block. Once you're happy with the content on your page, go ahead and click on update. So once it's done, I'm gonna click on view page in the bottom left hand corner. So this is how the page looks. Okay, so let's take a look at some pro features. First, we need to install Neve Pro. So go to plugins, then click add new. Click upload plugin and drag Neve Pro from your download location to this button. Then click install now. So just wait for it to install. Once it's done, click on the activate plugin button. So Neve Pro is now installed and there's no need to enter a license key as it activates automatically. Let's go to appearance and click on Neve options. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the Neve Pro tab. Okay, so here's a list of all of the additional options that you get when you purchase Neve. And you have the option to turn each of them on or off. And also, each feature has a link to its documentation page. So for example, I'm opening a link to the scroll to tap modules documentation. Okay, so let's view some examples of pro features. So if you go back to the header tab in the customizer and scroll all the way down, you'll notice that there are way more available components to choose from. I'll go ahead and click on the plus icon on a row. Here you'll notice that the pro components are listed in their own section. And if we go back to the blog archive, we will see some additional customization options. And I'm gonna leave a link to this video which shows you how to use one of Neve's most powerful features which is custom layouts. So look out for a link to this video in the top right hand corner of your screen or in the description. Thank you so much for watching.